Welcome to Die Headlines. I'm Louisa Liu. Thank you for joining us. Beginning August 16th, Suji 6 disaster relief team carried out a five day fertilizer distribution in Myanmar's Jiaodan Township, helping nearly 4,100 families. Although emergency relief distribution has come to an end, the reconstruction of collapsed schools and houses has just begun, starting with the toast. Two most severe destroyed schools in Senpiat village of Kunyanggang Township. The local government has also approved a dye housing project, which will provide cyclone survivors with sturdy homes. Seeing and cheering in Chinese and Burmese, local volunteers line up to welcome Suji's sixth disaster relief team. This crew from Thailand and Malaysia are soon to leave Myanmar to return to their own countries, so a party is held for them in appreciation of their service. Upon hearing the song Thinking of the Master, many people are moved to tears. From August 16th to the 20th, 14,288 bags of fertilizer were distributed to 4,074 households, assisting them with rice farming in the aftermath of Cyclone Nargis. Before the school supplies distribution on September 4th, the nine remaining city volunteers in Myanmar traveled to Sampia Village School in Kuyagong, where most of the township's 118 schools were destroyed in the cyclone. Siji's reconstruction project will begin with the two most severely damaged schools, one of which, the Sampia Elementary School, was completely destroyed, forcing students to continue study in shoddy shelters. Together with Kunyagong's disaster management director and the head of the Department of Education, volunteers map out rebuilding plans. After the cyclone, we were hit with a series of problems, so Siji's help is an immense contribution to the education sector. I'm very thankful to you all. As volunteers and local residents enjoy a sociable chat, Disaster Management Director Wu Ouming begins promoting the English edition of books on Tsuji's four missions, giving a little introductory lesson on the foundation. Flipping through the pages, Wu Ouming familiarizes the audience with Tsuji. His action is both surprising and rewarding for the volunteers because he was fairly standoffish when he first met Tsuji. Now, after reading the books on the foundation, he speaks of Master Jinyin in admiration. I am very interested in your master. Huh? Jinyin. Yeah. Huh? She was, uh, as a child, she was very good. Cool, huh? The director also expresses his wish to become a city volunteer dressed in standard blue and white colors. <laughs> <laughs> Reconstruction of schools will soon be underway. Breaking through the language barrier and winning the trust of local people, Siji has firmly established its reputation of love and compassion in Myanmar.